Well, God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to Fresh Fire. Amen. Broadcast on Women in Ministry TV on tonight or whenever you are joining. You have decided to be led by the Holy Spirit. And let me tell you something. If you are in this broadcast, it means that you have been led here. And I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your time. And I want to thank you for your hunger for the word of God. You know, there's so much chaos happening in the atmosphere. And we need to keep our minds renewed, not on a weekly basis, but on a daily bit basis. We need to stay before the Lord, stay in the presence of God, seek him. When we seek him, we'll find him. And when you get full of the word of God, no weapon formed against you shall prosper because why you will always have the strength the spiritual stamina to rise above it to rise above it and conquer conquer take authority over everything that's trying to come against you so you have joined if you're joining right now you are joining on the last the last day of the month of new beginnings, the month of August. I pray, I pray that you have accomplished all that the Lord wanted you to get accomplished during this eighth month of the year of 2021. And you know what? There's still time. There's still time for you to be activated when you begin to step out on the word of God. You will not be alone but he'll be right there with you, helping you to accomplish what he has called you to accomplish. You know, there is purpose on your life. There's purpose on your life. God has a destiny in mind for you and no weapon formed against it shall prosper. No matter what situation you're in right now, it's only temporary. It is only temporary. I want you to get that. So, if I didn't tell you my name, I am Prophetess Dr. Gwendolyn Bradley, and I'm so thankful for the Fresh Fire broadcast. I'm so thankful for the women in ministry TV, the women that I share this platform with that from all over, they're from all over America, and we need women that are on the wall. And I want to let you in on a little secret, if that's okay, in the next coming weeks you know we're getting ready to we're getting ready to shift into a new season a new Hebraic new year 5782 and there's something about that number two is powerful very powerful 5782 you know on the Gregorian calendar this is the ninth month is what we're going to be talking about tonight or today or whenever you're joining but according to the Hebraic calendar, this is the last month and we're getting ready to shift over. 5782 and the Lord has been speaking and there's been so many agreements, so many confirmations. You know, that's what the number two means. It means agreement. It means confirmation. Let me tell you, the enemy hates confirmation. He hates agreement. And that alone gives me insight that this next season that we're going into, we need to prepare. Prepare for war. Prepare for warfare in which we've always been involved in a battle ever since we said yes to the Lord. 
we've been involved in a battle. So in these next coming weeks on the broadcast, Fresh Fire, we're going to be talking about the number two and the number 22, the number 222 and the number 2222. It's going to be powerful. But I wanted to take this time and activate you into this month here. Speaking of two, when you look at John 11 and 35, there are only two words there. And they simply say, Jesus wealth. That's powerful. Jesus wealth. So what am I saying to you? Um, well, John eleven thirty five. 35, yes. What am I saying to you is that Jesus cares about your situation. And he's visiting and hovering over your situation right now. And I have been decreeing this word all week that your weeping season is over. I said your weeping season is over. As this is the 31st day of August, the last day in the month of August, listen, we're getting ready to cross over tonight at midnight. And I want you to know that the tears that you have been crying over these last couple of weeks, that you have been crying, you have been laying awake all night, you have been staying in your home and staying to yourself, I want you to know that season is over. There is breakthrough on the way for you. Why? When you think about the number nine, you must think about the word break forth. Break forth. There's two words. Break forth, break through, and you're getting ready to experience a divine visitation upon your situation and it's going to encourage you to rise up, rise up. You know, these last four months of the year, September, October, November, December, there's going to be shorter days and it's going to be filled with dark evenings. And even in the month of September, we're coming up to the 20th anniversary of 9-11. You remember, I even, I still remember where I was, where I was located. I was at work in a city called Miami, and I saw those planes going through the Twin Tower. You see that? You hear that, don't you? Number two again. I saw the planes going through the Twin Tower. So this year uh, will be 20 years since that happened, and is a dark day in our history. 9-11 is a dark day in our history. I want to let you know, and I want to make this declaration and this sound, may it go forth over the earth, may it go forth over America, that whatever darkness that the enemy has planned in reference to this day, it shall not, I want to repeat, it shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever darkness he has planned in your life for the month of September, it shall not prosper. No, no. Why? Because we're standing on the word of God. And we know that Jesus cares about our situation. He cares about COVID patients. He cares about what you're going through right now. And there is a visitation on the way. Just like John eleven thirty five 35 talks about how compassionate Jesus is and how he will come. And he weeps with us. He cries with us. And he understands our sorrow and our pain. And there comes a time, you know, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Oh, I think I'll say that again. I said weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. So I want you to get up tonight at midnight, and I want you to begin to declare that September 
will be a month of sweetness for you. Why do I say sweetness? Rosh Hashanah will be coming in. We'll be entering into Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah next week. And usually on Rosh Hashanah, what the Jewish people do, they get an apple and they dip it in honey, representing it's, it's a prophetic act to declare over their life, over their family, over their businesses, that this will be a sweet year. And you are entering into some sweet times with the Lord where he's going to amaze you. Step right into your chaotic situation in command, peace, be still, enjoy overflowing in your life well come on let's get to the word you know we have to put the word with it we can't just you know release our opinions on something because it's the word of god that will always stand it will never come back void so let's talk about this month of september just for a little bit just want to give you an understanding of some things amen so you know, uh, I need to put my glasses on. Two, I need two eyes. You know, we're talking about the, we, we mentioned the number two. I need two eyes to see. Four eyes. <laughs> two plus two equals four. So let's see what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. Amen. Praise God. Well, why did I say midnight that you need to get up and to declare uh, the goodness of the Lord, the sweetness of the Lord over this month. Let's look at Luke 11 and 5. When you look at 11 and you see 11, when you put those, that one and that one together, you get two. So I'm looking at this prophetically. So uh, tonight, I want you to uh, stand up on this word right here, coming from Luke 11, starting with verse 5. And he said unto them, which of you shall have a friend and shall go into him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey has come to me and I have nothing to set before him. 11, 7, Luke 11, 7. And he from within shall answer and say, trouble me not. The door is now shut. My children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give you. Now listen to Luke 8, and we're leaving the month of the eighth month, and we're going into the ninth. Luke 11 and 8, I say unto you, though he will not rise and give to you, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So the midnight hour, listen, people of God, is a time of landmark deliverance yes just like when paul and silas was in the prison cell and they began to praise and to worship you think praise and worship is a new thing no it praise and worship was in the bible and here in the new testament paul and silas they know the power of praising god even in our midnight at our midnight when it's darkest as we're going into the last four months of 2021, some of the darkest evening and darkest nights of the year, I want you to know that you can enter, enter into the gate of September with a praise on your lips. As you get up tonight and you begin to give God a midnight praise. Yeah, a midnight praise to provoke God into landmark deliverance, a landmark deliverance transaction. I'm telling you, it's going to be powerful. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Let me tell you something else about the September, about the month of September, the ninth month. Um, it is um, the month in the Hebraic, Hebraic calendar. We will be, um, it will be Tishri. We'll, it's, um, not Tishri yet, but we will be going into Tishri as we move into Rosh Hashanah. But when we look at the month of September, 
it is a time, it is the month where all sevens, when you look at Tishri, is where all sevens are important, representing God's completeness and fullness. Now, I told you that your weeping days, your crying days, your mourning season is over. It's complete. It's over. You're getting ready to step into fullness, completeness. What the Lord has in store for you in your business, in your health, in your family, get ready to receive it. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking. It is a month of God's appointed time, as we just talked about, the feast, the fall feast that signify the returning of God in our ability to experience his glory. It is a month to touch Jesus in a new way, just like the woman with the issue of blood. That's why in these coming days, coming as we as you come here in the month of September, and we talk about the number two or 22 or 222, I'm going to be talking about and teaching on the prophetess Hulda. And you can find her story in 2 Kings. And Holder, Holder, the prophetess Holder was a woman of distinction. She carried the word of God in her belly when it was nowhere else in Israel to be found. And so you're going to see that in this month of September, and as we get ready to move into 5782, God is going to be using women in the most unusual way. We have the word of God in our belly. And it's time to give birth to that word. It's time to open your mouth and to speak. So the Lord is going to touch you in the most unusual way during this month of September. And remember that September is the month of birthing. It's a time for you to give birth, women of God. And we know that when we talk about spiritual birthing, that is not just referring to the woman, but it's referring to mankind. Mankind, can, it's time for mankind to give birth. But since this Women in Ministry TV broadcast, this live YouTube channel is catered toward women in ministry, I'm speaking to you, woman of God. I'm speaking to you, business owner woman in the workplace. I'm speaking to you, woman in media, woman in military. I'm speaking to you, educator. It is time for you to give birth in the name of Jesus. And not only will you give birth in the month of September, but nine also signifies the gifts of the spirit. There are nine gifts of the spirit and there's going to be a mighty increase, a mighty increase of the Holy Spirit in your life. There's going to be increase. There's going to be expansion and enlargement of your territory. Get ready to be filled to overflow. I said get ready to be filled to overflow, woman of God. Oh, I, oh, my God, my God. Let me tell you something is happening even now as I talk about it. It's something about when you preach about when you preach about miracles, miracles begin to be stirred up. When you preach about breakthrough, then breakthrough is stirred up. It comes forth. Why? Because there is an urgency. Somebody is watching this live with an urgency. And you have got to realize that Jesus is the master of the breakthrough. And when we submit our situation to him, let me tell you, Changes take place, and sometimes immediately, and sometimes we wait on God. But let me tell you, this is the ninth month, and a woman carries that baby for nine months. And then the labor pains. Listen, it is Labor Day coming up this weekend. Labor Day. It is time to give birth. I said you labored over the business. You have labored over the ministry. You have labored over your finances, and now it is time to give birth. It's time to do 
what the Lord has called you to do. So I speak an increase, an increase of the word of knowledge, increase of the power gifts, gifts that do something, increase of the revelation gifts. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Gift that reveals something. Oh, increase of the utterance gifts. Gifts that say something. When How are you going to say it if you don't open up your mouth? But it's time to open up your mouth, to begin to declare sweetness, sweetness over your business, sweetness, sweetness over your ministry, sweetness, ah, sweetness over your health. In the mighty name of Jesus, listen to this. I'm getting carried away because every time I think about the number nine and all that it involves, and I think about the woman who was touched in a special way by Jesus, touched, she touched the hem of his garments. When I think about the nine gifts of the spirit, something is being stirred up in me. What's being stirred up in me is all about a who, and his name is Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit. Ah. It, uh, there's a there's an outpouring taking place right now. I know there are many storms, many storms that are taking place and happening, but the people of God, your storm is only positioning you. You know, there's been a lot of people displaced as a result of our most recent storm. They've been displaced, and let me tell you, there is a positioning happening in the spirit realm. Every storm that has been allowed in your life, listen to me, woman of God, has been to place you. It has been to position you for such a time as this, just like Esther, just like Holder, who was positioned, come on now, at the second gate. Oh my, she was positioned. I've been to her gate there in Israel. And while there, I was praying, Lord, touch me, touch my mouth, the way you touch Holder. Touch me, Lord, and touch me and grant revelation to me. She had a revelation of the word of God. She was a, a, a scribe and she kept notes. She kept the records. She knew how to hear from God. Listen, God is looking for women that will know how to hear from him. He wants to reveal something to you in this season, in the midst of the chaos. God wants to speak. That's why it's time to put your ear to the wall and hear what God has to say about your family, what he has to say about your business, just like Samuel, oh my, Samuel, a prophet who could hear from God. That's what his name means. His names mean heard of God. And God wants to speak. He wants your ears to be open. So it's time for the gifts to be stirred up. And it's something about when you flow in the fruit of the spirit, which there is nine, that your words shall not fall to the ground. I said, your words shall not fall to the ground the Lord, God didn't allow any of Samuel's words to fall to the ground because he was a prophet of integrity. And that's what we need in this last day, prophets of integrity, prophets of integrity. You know, we have a role, even in end time, according to, according to the word of God. I think it's like Revelation 4, Revelation 5, talking about the two witnesses. Listen. In order for us to get to that place where our words do not fall to the ground and we can stand flat foot, we can stand on the word of God, even in the midst of, of, of trial, even in the midst of tribulation, even in the midst of a storm, we've got to be prophets of integrity. So let's get to this scripture so we can get ready to close. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for your month of September the time of your birthing has come. The time of your birthing has come. It's time of your, this is crossover day. It's time for you to cross over from the weeping and go to winning. I say it's time for you to cross over from your season of weeping and mourning and crying 
and step over into the ninth month to give birth to push, push woman, God, pray until something happens, prophesy, praise until something happens. This is your season to give birth. You go from weeping to winning, weeping to winning. Let's look here at what the Lord is saying. I want you to go to Isaiah 66, verse 7 through 9. 66, you know, 6 is the number of man. And I'm speaking to the woke man right now. Listen, woman to God. This is your season. Listen to this. Before she travailed, she brought forth before her pain came she was delivered of a man child who had heard such a thing who had seen such thing that means that what's about to occur in your life in this season it has never happened before it's going to be unique it's going to be creative it's going to be wonderful the wonder working god has plans for you in this month of september god is about to do a wonderful thing he's going to amaze everyone that is connected to you and everyone that hears about it it says shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day for as soon as Zion travail, as soon as Zion travail, she brought forth her children. Yes, you. we've got to play our part in this too. We're to play our part in this, this spiritual birthing that's about to take place. There's some things that's required of you, woman of God. Come on, there's some things of you. You've got to travail. The scripture, Isaiah 66, talks about travailing and if you want to know an example example of a travailing prayer you can look at samuel's mother oh my yes we have several accounts of prayers of travail or lamentation and so this is a type of prayer a travail. This is the type of prayer that moves God. One where your soul is poured out to him. It's time to pour out. It's time to pour out women of God. No time to be cute. It's time to go forth and go for broke. I said go for broke. Go all the way in. Travailing. Let the Lord know how you feel. Just like David. David, who was the apple, apple of God's eye. He, the Lord has such a heart for him. Apple, he, he, he used to say exactly what he felt. There's that apple again. You know, don't forget your apple. Dip it in honey. Because there's going to be sweetness coming forth in your life. You got to release this travail. You got to release this prayer and remember that it's the prayer of lament. It's the prayer of travail that moves God. One where your soul is poured out and people who pray in this manner have laid aside pride. You got to lay aside self-consciousness and the opinions of others in haughtiness. You've got to go low. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, go low, humble yourself. If you need help, don't try to solve these issues on your own. Give it to the Lord. Just tell him, Lord, I can't handle this anymore. Lord, you've got to intervene in the midst of this situation or I'm just, I'm just not going to make it. Just tell him how you feel. So one example of this, as I was just sharing of this type of prayer is found uh, in Hannah. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, she went to the altar at the temple and earnestly prayed before God. And so this prayer of travail and this prayer of lamentation causes you 
to become so broken that you can hardly utter a word. When is the last time you cried before the Lord? Not crying over your and weeping over your circumstance, the situation. Like we said, your season of weeping is over. But your travail is over. Your weeping is over so that your travail can, can begin. And when you travail, that's how you're going to be able to birth your win. And I see a win, a W-I-N. You are going to be in your winning season because you're going to release these things that's trying to come against you. You're going to lay it at the altar. You're going to put it before the Lord, just like Hannah did. So in the presence of God, Hannah released all of her pent up anguish and bitterness. And she was so demonstrative, demonstrative during her prayer that she appeared to be drunk. It's time to get drunk in the spirit, just like Hannah did in 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 12 through 18. We're not going to read it, but we'll, we want you to visit that. Maybe you can visit it tonight at midnight as you get up and you begin to take hold. And you begin to speak over the month of September. So Eli, the priest, did not recognize this type of intoxicating, consuming, passionate prayer. But he thought that she was under the influence of wine or strong drink. So when, it's a, when a woman is about to give birth, she is said to be in travail. There is a cry that resonates from within her. So likewise, when you are about to give birth to something spiritually, you may also engage in some level of travailing from the depths of your soul until he hears you. It's time, woman of God. It's time to stop crying over your situation and begin to travail over your situation because the travailing is what pleases God. Listen, this is going to be an awesome month. A lot of things taking place and we want you to be able to discern in the realm of the spirit. So that will require you staying in a place of prayer, staying in your word, worship God, praising God, praise him, even before the battle is won, in which it's already been won. You know, it's not up to you. You know, the victory belongs to the Lord. And we fight from a position of victory, from victory, not for victory. So, women of God, I'm going to make a couple of decrees over you, and then we're going to be closing out for today. I'm just going to Speak over your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for those that are joining on tonight. And God, that they, they responded to your invitation. And Father, we pray right now. We speak over their life right now. That this month of September shall be a month of sweetness. We declare and we decree that area, area of their life has been covered by the blood of Jesus. And we speak over the women of God. We speak over their family. We speak over their finances. We speak over their health and their mind that they shall prosper in the month of September. No weapon, no darkness that has been planned against them and schedule or program into any day in the month of September shall be able to prosper. We thank you that the women of God are rising up. They're rising up at midnight. They're speaking and they're travailing over this month so that sweetness can come forth in every area. In the mighty, the miraculous name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Woo! Let me tell you what, I got blessed by that word myself. I said, I got blessed myself with that word. I'm so excited about the month of September. I know the Lord has gone before 
each one of us to prepare the way. And may we stay strong, stay strong. There's a lot going on. Let's keep our families in prayer. Let's keep this broadcast in prayer, the women that come forth on this platform. And if you, if you, if you have been watching tonight, and I know your baby leaped, amen. I want you to sow into this word. Women in Ministry TV, you can cash out dollar sign Women in Ministry TV, or you can PayPal. The information is coming up on the screen. Listen, or you can sow into Fresh Fire, dollar sign Gwen Sears. And we are, we're going, we, we are sowing into uh, many projects internationally in Africa, Liberia, Kenya, orphanages, sowing into the destiny of young women. So we want to let you know you're sowing in the good ground. And I just speak over your finances that this month of September will be a month of sweetness. It's going to be a month of investment in return. You shall receive a return for what you invest all that, all the seeds that you've sown, you're going to see sweetness. You're going to see double, 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 double coming back unto you. So I thank you for joining on tonight. And next Tuesday, as we come back in again, that'll be the beginning of Rosh Hashanah. I'm looking forward to it. I thank God for that time. We'll be stepping into that new year. And I pray that you have a happy new year and that you position yourself for the sweetness. Well, God bless you. And let's get together again next week. Here, right here on the Women in Ministry TV live YouTube channel or many of the other social media outlets. God bless you.